I am Connie Sue. Welcome to the series on performance measurement. A lead indicator is a measurement that provides information on something that has an effect on an end outcome. For example, customer satisfaction is a lead indicator for revenue growth. A lag indicator is a measurement that provides information on an end result. For instance, revenue growth is a lag indicator. It is useful to look at both lead and lag indicators. Lead indicators help you identify problems that you could fix so that you can bring about the ideal outcome. Lag indicators help you to reflect on the effectiveness of your actions. So it is important to ensure that you're looking at the right lead indicators. That means you need to verify the correlation between lead and lag indicators. A simple way to do that is to prepare a scatter plot. This scatter plot shows the results for store profits and the number of competitors. One would guess that there's a high correlation between the two, but the scatter plot shows that there is little correlation. You can put a trend line through the data points. When you look at the equation for y, the store profit, the value for r squared, which represents the fit, is 0 0.01. This means only 1% of the variations in store profits can be explained by the variations in the number of competitors. It has little effect on store profit. On the contrary, the scatter plot for store profits and the target customer population shows a high correlation. The value for R squared is 0.43, which says 43% of the variations in store profits can be explained by the variations in the target customer population. By comparing the two diagrams, it is obvious that the number of competitors is not the best lead indicator to use if you want to predict store profits. So it is important to validate your lead indicators because you don't want to waste time and effort on things that have little effect on the end result. Thank you for watching. I'm Connie Seal.